Hey YouTube, welcome to episode two. Um, I wanted to just do a little quick video talking a little bit about our trip to Israel and I'll tell you this is not scripted. Um, I don't have anything written down so this could get interesting. You could just see um, unedited Jamie so that could be fun. Um, so we just got back from Israel and let me tell you, everybody says it when they go but it's such a life changing experience. A um, couple of things about that. Um, we went with uh, we went with a local church here, but we also um, while we were there, we were at Jerusalem University College, and um, our instructor, our tour guide, was a man by the name of John Beck, and um, he he goes by Jack, but his name is John on all of his books. I came home and promptly ordered his The Holy Land for Christian Travelers um, by John Beck, and. Um, this was is such a handy little book, but he has a lot of really great books, so I'm planning to get them, but this is the first one I got. But if you're on the fence about going to Israel, I would highly recommend it and strongly endorse um, Jerusalem University College and Jack Beck. Um, they took it, I feel like, in such a different direction. It wasn't just a tour. It was... Um, it was more like a class and it really was that the, the thing we did was actually kind of like a master's level class so um, it was very in-depth um, not only did we learn about the history of um, the Holy Land but you learn like things about geography and archaeology and even the agricultural practices and just so much um, that I didn't even know would be so enriching um, but it was so um, I just want to tell you a little quickly some of the the things I learned, the things that surprised me, um, before I went, somebody had mentioned to me, they said, it'll be interesting to see what underwhelms you and what overwhelms you because they had been there and they said, you'll be surprised at the places that you're just totally overcome with emotion or with, you know, just like the feeling of, of being there and just overwhelmed by it all. So that definitely happened. Um, but okay, so the first, like, amazing takeaway I would say was the importance of geography in the Bible. I had no clue how important geography was. And um, you know, it's stuff we don't think about even being raised in the church and learning things our whole life. How important like just a simple reference to a mountain is or um, a place or a, a river or a valley. Um, we don't realize how important it is because well, we don't live there and we don't understand it. And so that was huge for me was the geography part where, um, you know, the, the verses that I would normally skip over are the ones that I should be paying attention to and reading. So that, that was mind blowing to me. Um, and then I, it was really cool to just even learn like archeology span and um, the agricultural practices and, and kind of dive deeper into some of that. Um, one thing I'll tell you is that uh, we learned how important it is not to just take a verse and what, what you would call like agendize it for what your purpose is. So like in the Western culture, sometimes we'll take verses and just use them for the ways we want to get the points we want to get across when maybe they don't even mean that. And that happened with several, uh, several verses. Um, I'm not going to go into all of them right now, but some ways that I had heard it as a child, I found out, you know, and I just assumed that's what it meant or didn't search into it deeper. And I found out on this trip that that was absolutely incorrect. It didn't even mean the thing I thought it meant because um, it, because there was uh, so much backstory that we didn't understand. Um, and so that was pretty incredible. Um, I have to say, like a takeaway that I just was was blown away by um, the fact that the the strategy behind every single place that Jesus was where he was when he made announcements, um, down to, you know, like just even the location he was standing when he would say something, um, the way he would communicate with them using what they understood. So much of that was surprising to me. Um, and honestly, I came away after learning so many things, I came away going, if I didn't believe before, I believe with all my heart now. And I mean, that sounds funny for me to say it that way, but there's zero chance that the Bible's made up. You, when you see how many things are strategically placed and there's no way that somebody could have made all that up and and down to tiny little details of where you're standing and, and how could one person do that? It's just, um, you know, going back his, hundreds and hundreds of years of history, 
um, and fulfilling prophecies and just all those things that, that make up the story in the Bible. Um, and so that was pretty incredible. I have to say, I, I wasn't anticipating that part just to go, whoa, this thing is even more legit than I realized. <laughs> and that sounds kind of silly coming from a person who has, um, been in, you know, the Christian world my entire life. But I, to put it mildly, I was, I was surprised. Um, the, the two places that I want to share quickly about the two places that were overwhelming to me personally and kind of surprised me. Um, the first place was the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, and that's the place where many believe that Jesus um, died, that location, and then uh, in that general area, and then also some believe where he actually rose again, and um, where he was buried and rose again. And um, hang on one second, just need to, there we go. Um, and I think what overwhelmed me about that place was as we, as we entered the courtyard and we're about ready to go into the church, um, was I, I looked around me and there was so many people and I know some of them are probably just interested tourists, but, um, so the, the idea that we were all there because of Jesus, because of his sacrifice, because we were there to remember and, and reflect on what he did on Calvary. Um, it kind of, oh, it just overwhelmed me and it, it made me pause and reflect in a different way and as we walked in the church you could see people doing their different methods of worship and some of some of them were doing things some of them were simply standing there with tears running down their face some people were sitting praying and um, some were reading their Bible um, but just the fact that we were all there to kind of pause and reflect on that was overwhelming in, in, in a good way but um, made me pause and, and think about the, the sober reality um, and then the other place that was really um, amazing was the Jordan River, and I, I didn't really anticipate that. Part of that is because, um, and that was the area where Jesus would have been baptized by John. Uh, part of that was because of the stories we heard about that area, because that, that particular area has um, historical significance with the children of Israel, but also it was the location where, um, because with his baptism and and right it was basically the when you boil it down it was like the place where Jesus made the transition from his private life to his public ministry and just thinking about like the emotions and the what was what was about to take place and he had to kind of know what was happening he was saying goodbye to you know anonymity and and um and everything he'd known and, and kind of entering a new world that was overwhelming. Um, I just got to sit on the side on the banks and put my feet in the the river and just pray and and kind of just give God some of the things that I'm going through with trans some of the transitions I'm going through and and um, knowing that He understood those emotions and He and and I I can't even compare myself to His emotions at all, but. Um, or his experience, but just that he understood transition and he understood times where you're feeling maybe overwhelmed and um, you just do, you're obedient and you do what you're what you need to do. And he was baptized by John and the Holy Spirit just descended like a dove. And and in that mo in in that time of us being there, um, I felt the Holy Spirit so strong. And um, I have a little girl popping down. Mom's making a video, okay? And um, I think I will, I'll never forget those moments and how that felt. And um, so those were the surprising moments. Those were the, the moments that kind of surprised me and made me um, pause and um, reflect in a different way. Um, but I, I am so thankful that I got this opportunity. It was such a miracle of a trip, the, whole, the way it all worked out. And, um, and I'm just so thankful for it. And... Um, so I hope you guys have a good week, and um, I've got plans to do more videos. Um, you just keep popping up in my video. <laughs> um, but hope you hope you're blessed this week, and uh, we'll talk to you later.